Hello, everybody. So I'm going to do a <clears throat> what I got for Christmas video here um, from things that my wife gave me and also my 47 kids. And uh, and so I, I'm not trying to do this to uh, brag or anything, but I was just really happy with it when I got this year. Uh, everybody, especially my wife, really kind of hit it out of the ballpark this year for me. I was really happy. And... Uh, and plus, I can't. I've been I've been building, but I can't paint still. Um, I can't spray paint, and so I'm gonna have to do something to address that, uh, especially for next year. Um, but so I just wanted to do this, and I'm gonna try to talk really fast because I already did this once, and I ran out of time. So, <laughs> so uh, here we go. So I, I got this mat. Let's see. If I do that. I'll make it better or worse better or worse okay so i got um everything here came in a kit and it's all written in hieroglyphics um so i have no idea what some of the stuff uh is <laughs> you guys can help me uh some of the stuff i have questions about you guys can uh, answer me tell me what they are so got three different um tweezers and as you can tell once I finally quit flopping my hands around. Um, little paddle, so that'll be nice for picking up stuff. Um, don't think you pull hair with it. And then these are really sharp. I mean, they'd be great for putting holes in your body. Um, but yeah, very, very nice, pretty cool. And then the other is just a straight one like this, except for it's got those kind of points on it. Put the caps on it before I hurt myself. Um... <clears throat> So this is my old thumb thumb drill, and it's a real pain to get stuff in and out. It's always worked real stiffly. It, it works all right, I guess, when you're uh, when you're drilling for the most part. Although sometimes it can kind of hang up. But the kit came with a new one, bigger. This would be good for people with big hands, which I don't necessarily have, but uh, or people have arthritic hands or problems with their hands, which I most definitely do. I've got some serious. Uh, carpal tunnel very bad in my right hand um got two knives got this one uh then you got your more zacto style and blades uh these are very magnetic and then a little teeny tiny and a flat and then a new sprue cutter and that's cool little detail pin very tiny little <clears throat> Let's see, yeah, real teeny tiny little point on that thing. Uh, looks like a 0 0.35 millimeter. Well, I'm glad, I can't believe I could actually read that. Um, and then some stuff, uh, little, like, I call them scalpel scissors. I don't know what I'd necessarily need these things for, but they're pretty cool. Um, this I have no idea what it is. You guys tell me. It's a nice little blade on that thing. I'm actually afraid to take it out of the bag. I'm afraid I'll hack myself with it. But, uh, yeah, you guys let me know what that would be used for. And this isn't necessarily a model kit stuff, but although everything pretty much looks like it would be used with models. So, once again, I don't know. Because, see, like this. Um, it's all in hieroglyphics except for precision needle files, but I think this is the, <laughs> about the only thing that actually has some English in it. Um, and then some of the, uh, drill bits that go with the, the thumb screw. Um, <clears throat> so I actually have, uh, the Hobby Lobby. This file kit, which has more, obviously. I absolutely love these things. The flat one is great for... Um, I put, when you put engines together, you only know, got the big fat seam line on there. I use it to flatten that, um, dechrome the bottom of parts. It's really good for that. Um, and then I do the underside of intakes too, and I do the top of the engine where you put it together. It makes everything nice and flat, and it'll eat through it pretty quick. So you got to be careful, but that's what I do with that. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. And then it all came in this one box. And in this box is 
I haven't ever bought any of these yet, so we're really good for that. The little uh, foam foam board sanding sticks or whatever. Um, two of them and three different grits. I have no idea what they are, but they're all pretty smooth. Two sanding blocks. Once again, tells you something, but I don't know what. This is a little heavier. This is really fine. Two of these. Uh, they're the sponge foam too. More of your your uh, standard emery board. Three of these, and once again a different grit on each side. Uh, these are the. They're spongy in the middle, but hard on the outside. Um, sure, you know what I mean. A uh, little shamui wow, or <laughs> microfiber thing. This is awesome. Um, I don't know what you'd use it for, in what we do, for the most part. But these are ceramic. There's four of them. I don't want to shake it too much. Okay. Um, and each one's a different grip. These are awesome. These I actually know because they have it stamped 180 grit. So I've got a lot of experience with knives and blades and sharpening knives and blades. And so these are fantastic for sharpening regular old knives. And you could probably deburr an exacto blade or whatever if you need to, but I mean, why? You have you have uh, replacement blades, and then several sheets of sandpaper. This is pretty much all I've been using before is just big sheets of sandpaper and different grits, of course. So very nice, very nice indeed. So I'm pretty happy about that. Happy to actually be able to try out some of these. That'll be nice rather than just using the regular old. Uh, Little sheets of sandpaper. Uh, so that was one thing. Uh, the old helping hands. This is my old one. As you can tell, it's it's taped together because this frame is busted. Um, but I mostly use it for this. At least when I bought it, that's mostly what I use it for. Now I actually do use that part of it. Although I have a a lamp. Um, that's got one of those on there. Um, or, yeah, and I've been using it more for seeing now that I'm old and freaking blind. Uh, but my wife got me a new one, and this is more for uh, just precision work, I guess you would say. Excuse me. Um, so, here, I'm trying to move this because it's a nice little kind of roundy round. So it's got the helping hands on it. Move it up, move it around, loosen that up, and twist around, slide the things back around. So it's got a lot of mobility to it. Um, the light, of course, is adjustable, movable. So is the magnifying glass. Um, with the magnifying glass, I don't know how the easiest way for you guys to see that, it has another magnifying glass underneath it that attaches that you can look through and then flip that up and make it even more intense. I like to keep plastic over my lenses when I'm not using them. So I actually had one over this too. I took it off to show you guys. So like this, when I'm done, doop, I put that over there just to keep dust and hairs and things out of it away. So she got me that. Very cool, definitely need it, especially with the extra magnifying glass because my eyes ain't getting any better. Okay. And then she got me this. I know, <clears throat> excuse me, um, some guys have seen that. This is the, the, the new thing they've been having at Hobby Lobby where you, you see the block in the packaging. I wish I still had the packaging so I could show you, but whatever. Um, and then all the alligator clips are just, you know, in the bottom of the packaging or whatever. But I actually thought about getting it except I already have alligator clips, although you can always use more, and I don't have nearly this many, I don't think. Probably about half of that. And I have a styrofoam block that I got out of the trash at work. And, uh, but it, I mean, it works great. So it's one of those things, you know, yeah, I, I'd like to have it, but at the same time, I have something like it. So, but I got it for Christmas, and I'm very thankful for it because... Uh, with what I already have, I still run out of 
uh, room to hold things, so have to do things in batches. So uh, just, you know, one more batch of things. And then it also came with a bag of all these little rubber things, and I thought, first thought, well, you're supposed to put them on there. Well, that don't quite fit, and then they don't fit in the holes. And then I figured out, well, if they don't go on that end, they must go on this end, and they do. My old alligator clips don't have this, but then now you don't have to worry about putting teeth marks in parts. Beep, beep, beep. Typically, I leave a little sprue on whatever I'm painting, and that's what I have clipped in here. But not every part can you do that. And uh, so this this is nice. So very cool. Thank you, Heather. You did a fantastic job for Christmas. Very happy. I told her so. I told her she did a great job. So <clears throat> all that stuff makes my life a little bit easier. And then we have what my kids got me. So this first one is what I got myself from Hobby Lobby. But my kids got another one, and I just rearranged my stash uh, yesterday. No, yesterday worked. Um, I worked today too. But um, Monday, I rearranged my stash. That's when I found the Cobra kit that had been damaged. Um, and so the one that hasn't been opened is in in my new uh, stash area or whatever. So instead of dragging it out, I just figured I'd go ahead and show you this one because this is what the kit I got. Now, the great thing about having two of these is um, not only does that give me another trailer, which I'm super happy about, but um, a second one of these trucks. And the cool thing about having two of these trucks is I didn't realize this until I got it from my kids, but there's a customizing kit for the truck and uh, so it says, best dressed up pickup shown with custom grill, uh, side pipes, a bed cover, and rear fenders. So if you see all that, I mean, so I'm definitely going to do one. I don't know if I'll do it exactly like this, but pretty darn close. Um, that's pretty cool. Probably exactly like that. Different colors, of course, but yeah. So very happy to have two of those. And then they got me my very first Mobius kit. I'm so happy. I <laughs> want a Mobius kit forever. Just uh, one, they got cool trucks. And uh, two, I've never done a Mobius kit. And they look like they go together really, really well. And so I just kind of wanted the experience of building me one. And so they got me one. And I'm really happy with this. I like the 70 uh, Ford. I didn't tell them which one. They, uh, my oldest son asked me, what I wanted, and I did give me some specific kits. The the hauler truck wasn't one of them, but I was like, and a Mobius truck kit or a Mobius kit. I said I don't even care what it is. I said anything. I said any of the trucks would be cool, uh, you know. So I didn't say I wanted this one specific, but this is the one uh, that they got me, and I'm very thankful for it because that's really cool. Don't know if I'll do it four by four. Kind of defeats the purpose of having a Mobius kit if I go changing stuff around, but. Kind of like to do a street machine type thing. But also my dad had a truck that was similar body style. I think it was closer to an 80, but I mean, it still had that box style to it. And his was a 4x4. And uh, so I don't know. I don't, I'm not, not sure how we'll do it, but uh, really happy to have that. And what's better than a Mobius kit? Two Mobius kits. Um, yeah, so really happy about this one. Love step sides. Um, it wouldn't have been one I picked out just because from, I'm not familiar with the body style, but to me, it looks odd. But then I got to looking at people building it and I changed my opinion on how it looks. It's just the art. Cause as you can tell, this is, is a, a drawing or a painting, whatever. And it, it, I don't know. It just makes the front end look weird to me, but it's a much better truck in real life, much better looking truck in real life. Uh, yeah, just, I don't know. It seems like the front end on the cover floats more, makes those fenders a little more pronounced. I don't know. It's just something kind of weird, but I really like the way it looks in real life. So I'm really happy they got me this one, too. And uh, this one, I'm definitely probably going to change the wheels on it. And But 
Very cool. Very excited about that. So, one last thing. <clears throat> I got myself this. And I know I've said it to a lot of people um, over the last couple of months, but I've, I've really, I used to not be into trucks, but I've really kind of got a thing for trucks lately, truck models. And, uh, and then along with that came, I really like things that have trailers in them. And I like kits that come with something extra, something outside of the car. So I think that's what got me into the trucks is there's so many kits, you know, you got the ones that come with the go-kart and when it comes to the mini bike and I don't know, there's a couple other things, but, uh, so I'm really digging that. And then when this came out, I actually had an 81 Monte Carlo. So that's kind of cool, but I actually, I didn't get it for the car. I got it for the trailer and the chopper. How crazy is that? I mean, I like the car. I'm going to build the car. I, I, so my car was black with red interior. Um, Called it Dragula because I basically forgot about uh, Grandpa Munster's Dragula and then the song uh, Dragula by uh, Rob White Zombie. Rob Zombie was pretty popular at the time I got that car too, and so it just kind of seemed fitting. And then I was like, oh yeah, Grandpa's car was Dragula, but here nor there. Um, so I might do it like that. I don't know. This though is pretty cool. And I think as long as it's permitted within the rules, I'm going to probably build this chopper for the, um, motorcycle group beer. So, and that's pretty simple, but Hey, ain't got a lot of time anyways. <laughs> so simple works good for me. Um, yeah. So got that for myself. So, um, looking forward to what everybody's going to do in the new year. I'm going to turn this around and aim it at my face, and hopefully I'll be in there. And if not, it's better than looking at the empty table anyways, looking at the empty space behind my head. But uh, I'm really looking forward to what everybody's doing in the new year. And uh, yeah, so happy new year to everybody. But yeah, I'm, I'm really excited to see what you guys are going to be building this year. And uh, thank you so much. Uh, I'll catch you guys next time.